Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm Juliet and welcome to my daily yoga practice. Today I prepared for you 50 minutes all level yoga routine. As always, practice with your heart, do your best, rest when you need, stay hydrated. I'm gonna guide you through the modifications and you're gonna do your best. So let's begin. Wonderful guys. So let's begin here in a simple crisscross cross position and just bring your hands on top on your knees, close your eyes and let's just start to focus on our breathing. So slow inhalation through your nose and slow quality exhalation through your nose as well. Feeling that belly rising and contracting and then let's set an intention to practice with open heart, with gladness, with love, with compassion, with a nurturing attitude towards ourselves. So with that, let's open our eyes and reach out through the sides, all the way in through the nose, and out through the nose. And let's just do a few more arms reaches like that. And exhalation all the way back. Let's do it one more big quality reach, lengthening that spine. And slowly release your one arm on the side. Treat, 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 treat. And exhalation, switch to the other direction. Good. Great job. Let's do just a few more times. Safe direction. Right. And then to the left. We just starting, so we just waking up our body so we can get ready for the deeper holds more active practice very good and let's go ahead and take our arms all the way up reach and connect through your elbows find the good bind and slowly start to flow with me so navel in and on inhalation exhalation extend through the heart open up that heart Tiny little extra movements as always. Just listen to your body from the beginning and all the way forward, forward. And just a few more, reach. All the way in. And all the way out, navel in. Let's do just one more, big one. Reach all the way. And exhalation, navel in, relax. Let's undo those elbows. Take your hands on top on your knees and we're going to wake up our center even more. So heart up and open and then navel in again, chin, look in this throat and reach up, expand. Soft and open throat and exhalation, chin towards that chest, thoracic lock all the way up. And exhalation, guys, breathe. Actively, this comes from Kundalini Yoga practice. He's waking in the energy with the heat. And let's do just a couple more. Deep breaths. Exhalation. Reach. Exhalation. Back start to roll through the side. So you can release, of course, your hands on the floor. You can have them on your knees. Doesn't really matter. Just enjoy your practice. Again, it's a very, very good warm up for the entire body waking up the energy and let's do just a few more all the way reverse it to the other side let your neck let your head let your shoulders everything flow together and then reach up all the way and we're going to take our right arm up, left all the way behind in the big quality opening. Just open and wake up that body. Breathe, guys, and then go ahead and take this right and grab that tricep on the left. Continue to open and breathe. Very nice. We're going to switch the side. So let's go ahead and take the left arm up all the way nice and open and diagonal. Very good. And then go ahead and draw this arm all the way behind and grab the tricep and heart up. All the way reach, gaze up, breathe. Feeling the opening in the shoulders, in the lower back. All the way, take it back. 
very good guys so what we're gonna do next and then take that arm all the way up nice and big and slowly draw it behind and bind with that right tricep breathe guys all the way gaze up wonderful so let's take it back so what we're going to do next we're going to take our right leg and put it in a half lotus of course if the half lotus is not available just keep it in a simple cross cross remember that it comes from the external hip rotation so make sure your ankle doesn't hurt so we will go ahead and take the right hand again on the floor and going over the right a little bit deeper this time try to remain both seat bones guys on the floor breathe reach all the way lengthening very nice and then we're going to take our both hands behind the head guys make sure you are not pushing too hard right it's just a soft support you might even press cross your fingers if you want and I'm gonna start gently flow one elbow and then another elbow and again right and it doesn't have to be deep keep your heart open right and left. beautiful let's take that feet and the switch so take your left on top in a half lotus if that's too much always just remain them a cross cross and we're going to reach our right and go towards the left try to keep your both sit bones equally grounded and keep reaching up into the side a little bit different than we begin with and gently come back take your both hands behind open up taller and we're gonna start our lateral bends with the hands behind don't press too hard on that neck just a simple hands behind the neck or maybe a little soft bind with the fingertips now doesn't have to be low try not to fold forward try to breathe actively keep on breathing and we just have a couple more right and left left and left let's do just one more very nice and all the way to the other side great job guys now reach all the way and fold forward and now we're gonna fold forward again we will switch the feet the half lotus again so fold forward again doesn't have to be far away just try to hinge forward through the hips slowly gently now we're going to keep we're going to keep our right hand on the floor and open up towards the left you're gonna feel it on the left hip and the left groin area big press very good and come back to the center let's switch so we're gonna go back to the half lotus from the other side so put your right on top again if it doesn't fall don't worry about it we're going to reach up all the way and fold forward right again and a half lotus so our right leg and a half lotus and hinge forward right through the hips it doesn't have to be deep doesn't have to be anyhow special just breathe and we're gonna give it a couple breaths up here and then of course if it's if you're ready if it's there we're going to keep our left hand on the floor and open up towards the right big opening up very good in through the nose out through the nose and slowly come back with me so we're going to make a transfer on our hands and knees so let's go ahead and do it take your hands wrist elbow shoulders stack them one on top of another directly very good and knees directly underneath the hips and reach up and all the way back today we're gonna start with the balancing table top and then we're gonna do a few push-ups on the knees and cat and cow 
up and down. Make sure that your hands are rooted into the floor. And then slowly with me, come back to the center. Take your right arm, take your left leg. Guys, long extended body. Keep that balance in between that arm and that knee. Connect with the floor, connect with your mat as always. Breathe, try to extend those arms, those legs as far as it's only going. So it's not just the way cold, right? This is a low quality, strong extension and the breathing. Breathe, guys, connect in the center if you can. Or go rest in the child pose. Remember, this is all level practice and you can always rest in the child pose whenever you need to reach and extend, guys. In through the nose, out through the nose, power up those movement with your breath. Exhalation all the way, breathe, guys. And reach all the way, big reach. Wonderful, last one. All the way, draw those knees and elbows through the center. Breathe, reach, and bind if you do have a bind. If you don't have a bind, don't worry about it. Breathe, guys. In through the nose, out through that nose. Keep on breathing. If you can close your eyes, you can close your eyes, of course. If you don't have a bind, use the strap, you sound gorgeous, don't worry about it. Very nice. We're going to round our spine, relax our neck, and just reach up again. Breathe up. And exhalation. Back down one more time. Reach. Left arm and the right leg all the way long extended body guys big breath big reach no weak holds we generate that energy in between the fingertips and the toes long extended line keep on breathing guys in the nose out exhalation connect all the way through that belly manipura chakra reach all the way big breath Breathe, hold, 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 lengthen in and all the way, exhalation. Stay strong, stay connected with your mat, reach all the way. Big breath, big breath, keep breathing, keep breathing. And exhalation, all the way, wonderful job. We're going to reach one more time, big breath. And if you're ready, when you're ready, go ahead and grab that ankle, bind, crest cross. If it's not there, it's not there. Do not worry about it, please. Just practice with the joy, with love, and acknowledge every single little achievement you experience through the practice. That way we will expand much faster. Let's take it back all the way around. That's fine. Relax your neck. Pull the belly in. In. Look all the way up. Expand. Open up the heart nice and open and do it one more time all the way in back up we will continue with a little hip flow so swing those hips side to side mm -hmm. just to rest it back a little bit from those back bends and the binds in the tabletop so if those hips doesn't go all the way till the floor don't worry about it please just do what you can and breathe actively be gentle be nurturing good kind attitude towards ourselves and just one more time guys let's do one more time very good from here let's round that spine relax that neck let's wake up our wrist so we can take it halfway through or we can take it a little bit farther and turn our fingers all the way towards the knees Again, you don't have to do it. You might do one hand at a time and then do the other one. If that's already very challenging, just remain up here or tuck the toes with me and shift the weight a little bit deeper back. That's very, very active, guys. So if your wrist is not ready, it's not ready. Be patient and wait until you can go all the way through. Just one movement at a time. Don't skip the asana, modify that. Come back to the center and let's return those hands and let's stretch them really nicely. So one at a time, just as I am doing right now. Or you can do the both hands if you're ready and just give it a little even rocking movement. So make sure it doesn't feel hurtful, right? 
So come back with me up here, take your right leg up, all the way, big breaths, carry it all the way on the right. Breathe, guys, in through the nose, out through the nose. We're gonna give it a few tops, working through the center of your body, waking up, breathe. Reach, guys, one more, carry it all the way back, push down, exhalation, heart toward the mat, toward the floor, hug your ribcage with your elbows, Come on up, knee chin, chest, or belly. One more time, reach, breathe, exhalation. And come on up, knee chin, chest, the belly. One more time, guys. Reach, breathe, exhalation. Hold with me. Strong, nurturing breathing. Active body, calm mind. Come on back up, round that spine. Relax your neck all the way. Let's do it just a couple more times fully open and we ready take your left leg up all the way draw it up strong and engage push down hug the drip gate with your elbows waking up actively come on up knee chin and chest the belly draw it from the center reach brace push down elbows in you don't have to go in such a deep push down you just can do a little bit all the way push down fully we're just a halfway rest when you need in your child pose breathe guys come on back up wonderful take the knee back around that's fine relax your neck let's reach our one arm all the way up and open up and open and then reach another one up and open raise the arms rest the arms Great job, let's do it just one more time. Reach, up and open, take it back, and reach, up and open, take it back. Guys, round your spine, relax your neck, and come toward the first downward facing dog today. Both hands on the floor, relax the neck, shift the hips up and back, right? If you are a beginner, bend your knees, your feet, hips width apart, and shift the weight even more back away from the shoulders. Shoulder blades apart, wide, good, strong back from the crown to the tailbone. We lengthen in that spine, navel in, and breathe your cheek, your each and every cell of your body to be here in your downward facing dog. We're gonna go and reach up and practice in today's a tiger curl. Let's reach the right leg up, look underneath the right, then square your hips, take the knee, chin, chin, chest toward belly, weight above the wrist, take it back all the way up. Exhalation, we're gonna do a couple more times. Breathe, reach, knee, chin, chest or belly, take it all the way back. Breathe, reach, knee, chin, chest or belly, take it all the way back. Open, come on up on your left tippy toes, draw the belly toward the left leg, relax, restore, release, look forward, step all the way to the side, outside of that right foot. We're just going to open in a step, side all the way, big breath, take your right arm up, don't overdo it, and take your both hands back, we back to the downward facing dog. Breathe, guys, close your eyes. If you have to go and rest in the child pose, definitely go ahead and do that. We're going to take the left leg up, all the way look underneath the left, shift the weight back, draw that knee, chin, chest, or belly, all the way, tiger curl, reach up all the way, big extension, take it back to the tiger curl, and one more time, big reach, big extension, then square those hips, Draw it forward, shoulders above the wrist. Open it up and come on up on the right tippy toes. Draw the belly toward the right leg. Expand through the heart, expand through the back. Relax that neck, that neck is limp and loose. Carry this left leg all the way outside to the side stem. So my block is here, so grab that knee on the floor if you have to. And open up. We're going to open up towards the left. All the way. Big breath, guys. Big breath. Open up. Enjoy the practice. Be present. Back to the downward facing dog. Very nice. We continue with the next level. Look forward. Bend those knees. 
take it down on the floor reach up exhalation all the way back one more time down knees on the floor be press cow and all the way back downward facing dog look all the way up and take it back exhalation rest breathe downward facing dog take your left, right leg up all the way under your knees look 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 step forward begin to step forward for the low lunge we're gonna start up here to work on our hips waist in the low lunge low anjaniyasana guys front knee above the front ankle again if you have to use yourself with the blocks your blocks are here for you so you're gonna use them just like that i hope you have your blocks handy those are really really useful tools so let's go ahead and use them front knee front ankle shoulders up back and down give it a few nurturing rules all the way very nice and reach up big breath and we're going to take our right inside the right and just open up towards the left just look behind the left shoulder we're just starting breathe and then slowly return back and take your left hand on the floor or per se on the block if you have to do the block and we're going to open up towards the right start your rotation in the hip flexor groin area don't block the hips make sure that the upper body is relaxed you are not pointing your teeth your facial expression is soft and relaxed please we're going to take our both hands back on the floor. Step with me back towards the plank. You don't have to do the full push up. Chaturanga, you can set your knees on the floor or do transition through the tabletop if you are a beginner upward facing dog. Back to the downward facing dog, do not hurry up. Fine guys, good alignment, both hands, feet, relax at neck. Breathe, navel in, very good. We're going to take our left leg up, look underneath the left. Step forward, right guys, with the quality low anjaniyasana or low lunge. Front knee, front ankle. Please guys, use your blocks. If you don't have blocks today, support yourself on the floor, not on your leg. And so you have a, that substantial support, but blocks is the best choice. Your shoulder rolls, make sure that there is no tension in the upper body. It's going to be quite hard to relax the hips and flow if the upper body is still tense. We're going to reach up and we will take our left inside the left and just look behind the right shoulder. Keep on breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, maybe close your eyes. And again, softening those hips, just making sure there is nothing preventing you from relaxing. If you need to come out earlier, come out earlier. Come back to the center and gently take your right hand on the floor or the block and we're going to open up towards the left. Big breath, soft rotation. Mm -hmm. Keep on breathing, guys. Keep on breathing. And come back to the center. Frame your front foot. Step back with me to the plank or chaturanga. And we're going to go for the six push-ups. You can do your push-ups on your knees or you can do less than that. Let's go do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one and hold if you are not holding the low four limbs tough pose that's okay just send your knees on the floor and now together with me belly on the ground reach up cobra or upward facing dog and we're together going to make a transfer to the downward facing dog relax restore all the way drop that crown guys and breathe breathe the shoulders we part the back just like a canvas. Very good. Very good. 
look forward and take your right leg up all the way and we're going to step to the high lunge or regular Anjaniyasana so Anjaniyasana lunge front knee above the front ankle again if you have to send that back knee on the floor don't worry about it just for right now practice it this is soul level practice as long as you're doing your best you're going to improve your practice grow and expand so do not crisscross your knees guys open them up and reach with me big quality breaths in through the nose out through the nose great job we're going to take the hands up front of the heart and just spend here a couple more breaths you are very strong stay with me big active breath is going to help you to come through this all the way take your left hand on the floor just as we did when the low lunge open it up all the way good quality rotation breathe create the connection with them don't practice just with the physical body it's much harder and it's not as effective it feels your practice with the breath and with intelligence listen what your body needs slowly take it back on the floor the back knee just where we started release your toes and we're going to transfer the weight towards the left hip so left hip settled above the left knee for right now guys keep your front foot on the floor and just fold forward here is your blocks please use your blocks up here especially if you feel you round that back then definitely supporting blocks can be used much higher much lower so use them don't be shy to use the tools forward fold slowly belly down towards the floor towards that leg lengthening that spine very nice guys now we're going to stay here for the couple more breaths and just lift our toes and work more on the Achilles and the hamstring. Feel it even deeper. And just breathe, release, relax. You don't have to go all the way deep. Just do your best. Just flow like an ocean. Ocean movement, ocean-like movement. That's very good. We're going to take the knees back and take your arms all the way up front. Let's rest a little bit. Send your tailbone in between the knees. Anahata Asana or extended puppy pose. Keep on breathing with me. Just rest for the few breaths. Two, three, four. Depends how many you can fit in a given time. You need to go after that the child pose. Do that, please. If the chest doesn't go on the floor, that's okay. Just pat, bring some blankets underneath. Navel in. In. Come back slowly with me to the tabletop. Tuck your toes. We back to the downward facing dog all the way. Relax that neck, tailbone. Up and back all the way, guys. We're going to take our left leg up all the way through. Big press. And step forward to your lunge. Anjaniyasana right up here. So make sure front knee above the front ankle send your back knee on the floor if it's needed for right now practice as long as until you won't get comfortable with a full lunge if you hold the back knee above the ground keep it strong and engage kneecap not stiff but strong and engage reach up all the way big breath awesome job keep on breathing guys we're going to take the hands namaste and just hold it for a couple more breaths maybe close your eyes both legs active guys both legs active don't hold it on just one leg very good and now we're going to release our right hand on the floor just as we did and open it up all the way through very good quality breaths guys release expand extend don't worry about the perfection right and slowly come back to the center and we will make a transfer so when our right hip above the right knee so from here fold forward remember you can use the blocks 
on the floor. So hold your front foot, engage with the ground for right now, and just fold forward through the nose in, through the nose out. Raise, guys. Shoulders, don't shrug them. Just give it a few quality nurturing breathing using the belly breathing the best way. Deliver a lot of oxygen to the body so body can open up faster and be healthier. So from here, a few more breaths here as so I just lift the heels, the same position. We're just working a little bit deeper in that Achilles and the hamstring. Breathe, guys. A few more breaths. Use the blocks if you have to use the blocks. And just stay right there. Don't worry again about the perfection in the asana. Very nice. And come back to the center. Back to your lunge. Frame your front foot. And step back with me. Go for the plank. Push down, chaturanga, come on up, all the way, and back to the downward facing dog. Very good job. Let's work a little bit up here so you can just take your right hand on the floor. You can draw it all the way toward the left wrinkle. You can do it in the tabletop. It's a very great recovery for the back. Good massage for digestive system. Just give it a few breaths. Make sure you don't hold the weight on that one shoulder. Shift the weight back. Do the same from the other side. So just guys, support yourself or draw it underneath. Great massage for the organs, pelvic organs, digestive system. That's everything starts right there. Our health. Take it back. I'm going to take the right leg up and step forward with me all the way nice good guys quality warrior one position wide step doesn't have to be low but it has to be wide reach all the way nice and open today we're going to practice the humble warrior take the hands all the way behind big expanded heart you don't have to go all the way low it can be just up here you can use your blocks to support or fold forward with me fully in through the nose get out through that nose breathe guys actively very nice come back with me warrior two reach all the way gaze forward towards the right hand all the way top your back leg team and look slightly behind to see where you're going and then start to take the chest up all the way expand space between the vertebra long extended back and back to the warrior one take your left le left hand on the floor or on the block up here keep the both feet grounded we're going to open up very challenging very challenging try to hold your both feet grounded back very nice we're going to step back to the plank your guys choice push down fully knees on the floor one leg above upward facing dog take it back to the downward facing dog both feet on the floor or heels up if you are a beginner bend your knees relax your neck guys that's going to be much easier to restore if your neck is rested limp and loose we're going to take our left leg up all the way, big reach, big extension, step forward to your warrior one, all the way, big press. Remember, it doesn't have to be low, and your both feet must be grounded on your mat, and take a good wide step on your mat, reach all the way, big press, in through the nose, out through the nose, very nice. Good job, guys. We're going to go ahead and take a look over the front hand. Warrior two. And tap the back leg. Tap the back leg. And look where you're going all the way. Big reach. 
big lift. Heart forward, hips forward. Come on back to your warrior two. Hold the weight. We come back to the warrior one. Bind the hands. We forgot our humble warrior. I forgot our humble warrior. You know, all the way forward. Hold, guys. Now you definitely can use the block if you have to use the block. Let your hips to become softer. Relax your neck. Very good, guys. And reach all the way up. And send your right on the floor or on the block up here. Try to hold both feet grounded. Open it up. Soft rotation through the lower back and through the groin area. Don't overdo it. Do not underdo it as well, please. Please, guys, challenge yourself within your reason. And wonderful job. We're going to take our blocks back. Step back with me, Chaturanga Dandasana. All of your toys, knees on the floor, tabletop, or pool. Ashtanga Vinyasa, transition with me. Relax, restore, do your best. If you need to go to the child pose right now, please do that. Stay with me. Very good, guys. Look forward, and we're going to take our right leg up. Gonna go for standing balance. Step forward with your right, just up here. Make sure that you're comfortable on that right. And come on up, lift your left. We're gonna practice first just the supported one. Then take your arms on the side, or your plain arms, and that's making you a little bit stable. Please use your blocks and support yourself on the blocks, or take your hands namaste in the back foot, back ankle. 90 degrees above the floor, parallel the ground, make your transition to the standing whenever you, oops, ready, gonna grab that knee and just find the balance first, please guys, very nice, now we're gonna take this left just inside for the tree and it can be the baby tree you can support yourself with the foot on the floor it doesn't have to be the full tree today we're gonna hold the hands namaste just a very simple very grounding position for the hands be within guys be inside connect with the ground slowly take your leg back and gently top the floor with your hands bend your right knee and glide back until your leg which touch will touch the floor frame the front foot step back push down of your choice coming up and back to the downward facing dog we're gonna do the balance from the other side all the way guys take your left leg up and step forward for your balance find the balance on that left leg take your time guys take your time support yourself with the blocks start maybe with the arms on the side or a plain arm and the hands namaste the back leg is elevated right keep on breathing connection with the earth solidity groundness all those qualities of the earth come on back find the balance standing just grab that knee first very nice, just guard that knee. In through the nose, out through that nose. When you're ready, we're going to bring that foot inside. Doesn't have to be all the way up here, just don't lock it on your knee, please. It can be above the knee or under the knee, cup, or even stepped over the wall. And just practice that, touching the wall. Keep on breathing. Very good today, we're just holding the hands, namaste very grounding, very calming. Remember guys, quiet mind, quiet body. So if your thoughts are still running, just be aware of it. Just acknowledge and go back to the breathing. We're gonna go ahead and take the hands back, our plain arms, touch the floor, and bend your knee until the back foot will reach the ground. Frame your front foot. Ashtanga Vinyasa, transition, whatever you can do, guys. 
practice it's all level practice remember rest when you need do what you can that way you're gonna get stronger pretty fast keep on breathing guys relax the neck all the way through slowly with me bring the knees on the floor we're gonna practice a few variations so we'll for stress in it today or a camel pose so tuck your toes for the first one we're going to take our hands behind the back just support the back and let the hips and the lower back to rest on those hands take the heart up and forward and hips up and forward don't overdo anything and just simply breathe great job guys take it all the way back and child pose extend those arms rest the back if you need to rest longer please do it or come up with me this time we're going to take our hands all the way behind hips forward Heart up, expand through the ribcage, expand through the heart. Breathe, guys. Very nice. And give it a couple more breaths. And we're going to go to the child pose. This time, spread those knees wider and give it back a little bit deeper relaxation. Keep on breathing. good and come back with me so this time we're going to bring our right foot up front variation of the camel pose we practiced that before you can use the block right now underneath your right hand and just open it up just like that keep on breathing mm -hmm. stay with me we're gonna stay here for a few more breaths you can also take this right on top on the left. Breathe, guys. Very good. Keep on breathing. And slowly come back to the center. Find the balance. Pat that left knee if needed. Grab that foot. Whoops. very nice and then come back so find that balance pat that left knee if needed we're gonna grab that left ankle and just find the balance up here with me just pull that heel towards the left glute all the way and if you have a little bit range of motion take a little soft back bend very nice slowly take it back and then let's bring left leg forward these guys use the blocks up here support underneath the left it's much easier if you are a beginner or tap your toes take your left towards the right open and extend breathe guys in through the nose through that nose as well and just a couple more friends up here come back slowly find the good ground if you need something soft underneath your right knee please do it take your time use the blocks underneath grab your ankle up here and just go ahead and breathe guys Mm -hmm. If you have a little more range of motion, give it a little, little back bend. Find the balance through connection and slowly come back to the center. We're going to reach up all the way, big breath and exhalation. Dive for the couple breaths, two, three breaths to recover in that child pose breathe slowly gently 
Relaxation is a choice, so allow yourself to be relaxed. And then slowly, with me, let's make our way to our feet. So it's a wide squat today, Malasana. Now, if you are a beginner, you're almost there or not almost there, you can always sit on that block, right? And that's going to be a very good version. You can sit on two blocks. You can also put something soft underneath your heels. So if you're really comfortable here, then take your hands up front. Breathe, guys. In through the nose. Out through that nose. Very good. And then, if that is very easy for you, then we're going to take today our right hand on the floor and open up all the way towards the left. Very nice. And then switch the direction. Take the left. You can put the block underneath and open up towards the right. Very good breath. And go over, guys. So let's go ahead and bring our bottom on the floor. We're going to put our both feet together. But Hakanasana or bound angle here, right? That's already low. Just sit right there. You can also grab your both feet and go for the bouncing, bound angle. So elevate the feet slightly above the ground and put them a little bit closer towards your heart. Breathe with me. In through the nose. Oh, it's with that nose. Maybe a little bit farther up. Very good, guys. Let's bring the both feet on the ground and take your both hands up front and bring them on the block or up front of your feet. Tarasana or star pose today. And slowly release. Slowly release your head towards those hands. It doesn't have to go all the way fully. Just do what you can do the best. Come on back up with me. Let's bring our both feet crisscross just as the place where we started. Let's place our both hands up front of our heart and close your eyes, guys. Let's bring attention to our body inside, to our true self and reflect on this practice. Ask yourself a question. Did I practice from my heart or from the ego to impress? And not to hurry up to get the answer, just listen, feel it, hear it. Connect with it again, true self, not the one with the profession, not the one with responsibilities involved, but the true self, which is always there. So let's put more love, more kindness, more gratitude inside our hearts. Smile with your heart, share with others, and flow through the rest of this day with a true, true joy. Namaste. Great job, everybody. And it was an excellent practice. Just always do your best. Come back soon and we will practice together again.